Hello, tubers. It's your crazy British bloke here. Well, I've had lots of PMs and requests for bangers and mash. Don't know why. It's really easy. We do bangers and mash. We do a little spin on it. We have some uh, hot Italian sausages over here. We have those. We have uh, normal mashed potatoes and I do an onion gravy. Now, my onion gravy, I use normal Bisto granules. You all know that in England. Now, and then I do uh, onions in it and do it in a, in a skillet. Now, the trouble is, um, we run out of gravy granules. Now, they're a little bit hard to come by here. They used to sell them everywhere, but they don't. Now, that brings me to another thing. Down the road here from us, we have a thing called the British Shop. Now, in there, they sell all imported stuff. It's not a very big shop. It's mainly candy and all that sort of stuff that I remember, and, and uh, biscuits and crackers, and, and they, they sell some juice in there. But also, they do the gravy granules. But we know where we can get them from another store. So I'm going to go in, have a look around in the British shop, show you some of the prices and that, and then we'll compare the prices from imported uh, Bisto gravy granules to the ones that you can actually get in the stores here. So let's go see if we can get in this shop and get the camera out and have a look. Here we are, it's the old British shop. A taste of Britain. Let me take you in here and uh, we'll see if we can do some filming, eh? There's lots of memorabilia. Mugs, I like that mug. I have to get that for my cup of tea. That's pretty cool. Some Irish stuff, Scottish stuff. Teapots. Now, here's all the stuff that's imported in. Well, I remember some of this. Taifu. Can't get that here. Tetley's. Get that. It's all the candies. Real Cadbury's. <laughs> Twiglets. Wow. Bisto. Bisto gravy granules. Well, they've got vegetable ones. Chicken, cheese, chip shop. Wow. How much is that? Huh. Got my price on it. Hmm. I wonder how much that is then. Can you tell me how much your Bisto is? Pretty me. The Bisto? Mm -hmm. How much is it? Um, most of them are five sixty nine. Wow. Some of them are two of them the cheese and the parsley are six ninety nine. Wow, I've never seen that over here. Never. Real Heinz beans, look at those. We get beans here, but not, they say they're Heinz, but they're not real Heinz. Yorkshire pudding. Oh, look, even different Bisto, I've not seen that before. Wow. All the Coleman's. HP sauce. Marmite, there's your Marmite. Real Marmite. Look at that. There's Vegemite for the old Aussies. Real Heinz soup. Wow. Lots of stuff. Oh, there's your. No, you don't get this over here. Robinson's juice. You put that in, just mix it with water. Vimto, God, I remember Vimto, Ribena, I think you get that here. Oh, it looks mate. Here's all your candies. Lots of Cadbury's. Wow. Cadbury's whole nut. Look at that. I haven't had any of that for a long time. Bourneville. Curly Whirlies. Used to be my favourite, the old curly whirlies. Double deckers. Look at all this lot of flakes. Wow, oh, I can't believe it. Look at it. Brings back memories. Crunchy bars. Wow. Jams over it. Golden shred. Cool. There's your cookies. 
Mac V. Mac V old knobs. Got to slide those with a cup of tea. There you are. There's all your crackers. Tucks. That's in those since I've been over it. Penguin biscuits. Wow. What a place, eh? Stuff everywhere. Quavers. <laughs> Packets of quavers. Look at them, eh? Wow. Hoo loops. Marmite crisps. I've never seen them before. Wow. Foxies. Look at all this, like. Snowballs. Remember those? Some of this you can get over here. Yorkie bars. Wow, <laughs> look at that. Hey? The old sherbet dippers. I loved them as I was, when I was a kid. They were brilliant, they were. Wow. What a place, eh? Amazing. Oh well, here you go, let's look, look inside the shop. So, uh, let's get off to our next place. Right, we just come out of the old, uh, well we've been in the superstore, innit? Canadian it's a Canadian superstore, there it is, there's the old Bisto, exactly the same as in that other shop. And we paid, how much? Four forty nine. $4.49, and they wanted $5 odd, another dollar more. I mean, isn't that funny, you know, you, they sell the same stuff in a supermarket. Well, some of the same stuff. Anyway, let's go home and make this bang as a match, eh? Right, let's have a look at this. Bangers and mash. Got some sausages, they're uh, hot Italian. A little bit more spicy, make it, make it a bit better. Got the old bisto for the gravy. And a ton of onions, all chopped up. Mix them in with a bisto in a minute. I'll do the sausages first and also got some mashed potato ready to go. So uh, yeah, let's get them sausages in and we'll get them going. Right, we've got all the sausages done. There they are. They're all nice, all browned off. Been in there, I don't know, about 20 minutes, I suppose. Um, chopped up a great big onion and uh, put it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil and the rest of the uh, you know, juices that come out of the sausage. So we're going to sweat that down for a while and uh, and we're going to put in the, uh, the bisto, put it in a jug, um, some boiling water ready to make that. We'll put that in, let that bubble away for a while. And I've just got to make the mashed potato, put that together. And then we stop the whole thing together. It's going to be great. Right, so I uh, mixed up all the uh, bisto with the hot water. And I put that in with the onions that I'd sweated down. And yeah, just let it just bubble away lightly for... I don't know, about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and that's what you end up with. Now, I'm just gonna make up a plate for the old trouble and strife. So, just put some nice onions and the gravy on there. Look at that, eh? There you go. So, there it is. That's uh, that's my spin, I hope you can see that. That's my spin there on the old bangers and mash with the onion gravy, eh? Looks quite good. Come up ni nice, very nice. Anyhow, I'm gonna uh, serve all the rest out. You know, you all asked for it, you wanted to see it, so, you know, that's how I do it. You might not, you might do it different. You know, everybody else has got their own idea, but that's why I do it. So, anyhow, I'm gonna go and eat because I am starving. <laughs>